Hello guys, it's Sean Thomas here from TV Diecast, and like I promised in my last video of the Atkinson, uh, Scott Lee Atkinson, uh, the Scania. So yeah, here it is. I've just dropped the Atkinson on the floor actually, so I need to go sit that over here. And the mirrors. So I've got the mirrors, sorry. I was unprepared. Just because I'm trying to fire through these videos so I can get them all up like one by one. Anyway, there has been a problem with this Scania. The shipper forgot the beacons. I know. I've texted the guy and he basically said, oh, they're sitting at my table, so I was a bit annoyed about that, but at least I'm getting them. I mean, he could turn around and say, oh, tough luck, you bought the truck. But yeah, he's sending them out, hopefully. Um, so I'm just going to put the mirrors on. It did say in the description one of the reasons he is selling it was because the mirrors didn't... One, the mirrors didn't fit on, and it didn't fit into his collection, so that's why it was kind of cheap. He only had it for like a week, though, which is quite good. <sighs> Two mirrors. Can't be a bit of teeth, so you get these. There we go, I should slot in. Oh. Right, anyway, I won't waste any more time. I know it's out of place, but I'll get my modeler's knife and craft that out a bit. And, oh, flicked up my hand there. And then this bit just goes... Oops. Yeah, like I said, the seller was selling it because the mirrors didn't fit perfectly and uh, he didn't want to like chip stuff off because he knew he was going to sell it anyway because of him because it didn't fit into his collection because I think he was a English transport and then when he got it he seen it was like a Scottish company and I don't know if it I don't know if he didn't like it or what not but pff, it's up to him what he collects so anyway this is a Scania R580 R580. I don't know, I don't really collect Scania's, uh, mostly Volvos. Um, basically because my dad is Volvos and I always get discounts at the store. But, yeah, it's a Scania V8, in case Neil Jameson's watching. Fucking, sorry for the language. I mean, Euro Trucks are really like, It's always him, he's V8 power. So yeah, it's quite a, quite a, a detailed model, there's the... There's no low bar on it, but there is a low bar in the Scania V8 in real life, but I don't know if this is the actual one, because like I said, the only reason I collect these trucks is because they've been in my dad's yard, like Malcolm, McBean, Morris Hill, Charlie Lauder, Elite Transport, Scott Lee International, they've all been in my dad's yard, which is, that's one of the reasons I buy them, because I have like a like a connection to them, if you know what I mean. But yeah, Scott Lee is one of the biggest companies that's always in my dad's yard. There was one in today as well. It wasn't this one, unfortunately. But uh, anyway, the truck is called Wee Jenny. Just like what they do with Eddie Stobart, they put the wee name. This one's called Wee Jenny. Uh, anyway, onto the details of the model. The plastic covers. There's a, just a tiny wee bit of suspension. No way, there's none. Absolutely none. Yeah, um, onto the bottom of the model, it's very detailed, you get the gas tank and tanks and the steps. Um, on the back you've got the non-slick surface, this, I don't know if that's it, but that's what I call it. And you've got the airlines, just a basic back. I love the, the wheel hubs, they're really nice. The chrome. Uh, it does turn. Wait, it looked like it turned. In fact, it does turn. It just pops back into place. So yeah, it does turn. It just pops back into place. So that's quite bad. How the hell does that? Hmm. This guy's tampered with this model. I'm not happy, man. He took out the wee bar that helps it turn. I forget. Two minutes. I got my Volvo on oh, no, that one doesn't turn. I got my ERF. Yeah, there's a little bar that helps it turn. Just took that out. <sighs> Either just took it out or it's filling the box, I'll check it later. But anyway, this is a Scania V8. I don't know much about Scania's and mostly know a lot about Volvo's, but this is the second Scania in my collection now that I have. Oops, Jesus. Uh, don't fall, please don't die on me. Now that I have 
Charlie Lauder and Scott Lee. One of the reasons I bought the Scott Lee trailer is because primarily for the Charlie Lauder I bought a flatbed and it turns out when I was on when I was on yeah when I was on EB last night it turns out you can get a trailer not last night uh like Sunday you can get trailer right and it goes like that I'm just showing you the trailer and I'm not the actual model and then this goes and well, that's how it gets transported you get truck fest and stuff I suppose but yeah here's the model quite a nice model. I'm sorry this has been a bad review, it's just because I'm very trying to hurry the videos along to get more, to get more people involved and stuff. But yeah, this is the video. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.